Hello everybody, my name is Tanya Skripkina and you're watching my YouTube channel for teachers of foreign languages. And today I will talk about the TKT test, teacher knowledge test, module 2, task 1. Uh, you will be able to see this task in the description of the video, there is a link, so please feel free to download it. I found this uh, test at um, online cambridgeesl.org and I have decided that uh, every day I will post a video to help you to get ready for teacher knowledge test. Every Monday I will talk about module 1, Tuesday module number 2, Wednesday module number 3, Thursday module number 1, Friday module number 2, Saturday module number 3 and on Sundays I will answer all your questions. Before doing the task I strongly recommend you to read the instruction first of all, then read the main teaching focuses and be sure that you know all of them. And only after that I strongly recommend you to match them. So, the first one is cohesive devices. This is a feature in a text which joins text together. For example, use of vocabulary about the topic throughout the text or of uh, sequencing words, for example, then, next, after that, etc. Or of pronouns, he, him, etc. Or of uh, conjunctions, for example, however, although. Lexical range. Is there a range of vocabulary items? We look for a variety of words and expressions. Register. So what is register? Register can be formal or informal. For example, formal is when we, for example, apply for a job and we use this language in a job application. Informal we use with friends, family, etc. Narrative skills. Narrative skills are all about storytelling and understanding how stories work. Dialogue writing. Writing a conversation of two or more people. Summarize. We take out the main points of a long text and rewrite it or retell it in a short and clear way. So, now you are sure about all the definitions and now let's uh, match them to the numbers. Number one, learners write the key points of an article they read in a class using no more than 50 words. This is summarizing as students rewrite or retell a long text in a short and clear way. Number two, learners copy a handwritten text trying to make it look as similar to the original as possible. This is C, accurate letter formation. Three, learners choose words and expressions like however, in addition and despite from a list of options to fill the gaps in a text. So this is cohesive devices. 4. Learners replace a number of um, uses of uh, nice and good with more interesting adjectives. This is lexical range. 5. Learners discuss how to make a story more interesting by including interesting uh, characters. This is E, narrative skills. And the last one, six, learners discuss the differences between writing a letter to a friend and to a stranger. This is register, as uh, they discuss if to use formal or informal language and how to manage it all. 
I do hope that this information is really helpful for you and if you have any comments or questions, please do not hesitate and leave a comment. Also, let me remind you that tomorrow is Wednesday and I will talk about module 3. Stay in touch and remember to subscribe. See you later guys. Bye!